Does BCG vaccine provide immunity against the COVID-19 disease? Can a century-old BCG vaccine stop the new coronavirus? At least half a dozen studies now exist, all exploring the link between the BCG vaccination policies in various countries and the incidence of the COVID-19 cases and deaths. So let's find out the fact and analyze an epidemiological study with me, Dr. Ravindra, consultant general surgeon. Before then that, let me know what you think about the BCG vaccination and the coronavirus in the comment section below. And if you are new to this channel, please hit the red subscribe button and keep watching. Why the scientists thought the BCG vaccination may confer immunity to the COVID-19 disease? Number 1. The countries like Nepal, India, Philippines, Sri Lanka, Thailand and Vietnam, they have a poor health system but they have a BCG vaccination policy. These countries have reported their first confirmed case of the novel coronavirus in January. However, widespread examples of the community spread have not been reported. In fact, contrary to such expectations and the predictions, Europe, which has the best health policy but lacked BCG vaccination policy in many countries, has been declared the epicenter of the pandemic novel coronavirus on 13th March 2020. Second reason Several vaccines, including the BCG vaccine, have shown to produce the heterogeneous or non specific immune effects leading to the improved response against other non mycobacterial pathogens, example, acute respiratory tract infections. This is known as the trained immunity or off target effects. Scientists believe that these off target effects may confer immunity against the COVID 19 disease. Brief introduction about the epidemiological study. The study was titled Correlation between the Universal BCG Vaccination Policy and Reduced Morbidity and Mortality for COVID-19, an epidemiological study. It was conducted by Miller A. et al. in Department of Biomedical Sciences, Newark, USA. What were the results of the study? Number 1. Most of the countries with low income levels reported zero deaths attributed to the COVID-19 and have universal BCG policies in place consistent with a protective role of the BCG vaccination. Number 2. Middle high and high income countries that have a current BCG policy that is 55 countries had the 0.78 deaths per million of the people. In contrast, middle high and high income countries that never had a universal BCG policy that the five countries had a larger mortality rate with 16.39 deaths per million of the people. This difference between countries was highly significant. Number 3. Positive significant correlation was found between the year of the establishment of universal BCG vaccination and the mortality rate of the COVID-19. That means earlier the policy was established, a larger fraction of the elderly population would be protected. For instance, Iran has a universal BCG vaccination policy but it just started in 1984 and Iran has an elevated mortality rate of 19.7 deaths per million of the inhabitants. In contrast, Japan started the universal BCG policy in 1947 and has approximately 100 times less deaths per million of the people that is 0.28 deaths per million of the inhabitants. Similarly, the Brazil started the universal BCG vaccination policy in 1920 and also has an even lower mortality rate of 0.57 deaths per million of the inhabitants. The burning question is, why did COVID-19 spread in China despite having a universal BCG vaccination policy since 1950? During the Cultural Revolution, that is from the 1966 to 1977, tuberculosis prevention and treatment agencies were disbanded and weakened. This could have created a pool of potential hosts that would be affected by and the spread of the COVID-19 disease. So what is the conclusion or author's recommendation? The correlation between the beginning of the universal BCG vaccination and the protection against the COVID-19 suggests that the BCG might confer long-lasting protection against the current strain of the coronavirus. However, randomized controlled trials using BCG are required to determine how fast an immune response develops that protects against the COVID-19. 
In addition, one should bear in mind that BCG is contraindicated in immunocompromised people as well as pregnant women. So care should be taken when applying these possible interventions for COVID-19. And that's the end of the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notified every time I post a video. Thank you.